Prezi users will be really excited right now about the introduction of the new charts feature. I'll go into that in more detail in just a second. But what I want to focus on here in this video is not so much the feature itself, but how we present data to our audiences. So let's take a look at the Prezi that I'm working on at the moment. This is broken down by geographical region, and it's going to be a way for me to present data about website traffic to the presenter.com. So I've got some Excel files saved onto my Mac, and I want to drop some data into the Europe region. First of all, I want to drop in data about the different countries that visit our website. So I'm going to zoom into this subtopic and of course select the charts feature. For this, I'll use a simple line chart. And once it's there, I'll double click the chart so that I can edit the data that's there. So I click on edit data. I'm going to upload an Excel file. Here we go, EU by country and click open. And the data loads in very quickly. I can, of course, go into the settings of my chart and change colors and things like that. But I'm not going to focus on that for now. I want to focus on how we present this data more than the charts feature it itself. So let's click update. And there we go. You can see our chart is now on screen for us. And if I need to change any of that data at any time, I can just double click and go back to the same screen. Now, my question to you is how many times have you sat in the audience of a presentation and had masses of data presented to you? Really detailed charts like the one we can see here at the moment, and maybe even slides in PowerPoint or even Prezi's that have four or five, maybe even six charts like this on one space. There's no way that we can focus on that much content. So, to make it much easier for your audience, I want to just focus on this feature here, the animations feature at the very top of the screen. What I'm going to do is click on animations and I'm going to introduce a zoom area. So this zoom area will actually help me zoom into the data. So it might be that I want to focus in on why the figures for August were so horribly low compared to the rest of the year. So maybe if I bring it somewhere like this, it really doesn't matter for this example, you'll get the idea. And then what I can also do is insert an image or another kind of graphic that I can get to appear inside that zoom area once I take my audience there. So the reason the data was so low in August was of course because it's holiday season. So what I'm going to do is bring this graphic, make it nice and small. Let's just zoom in and take a closer look. I'm going to make it nice and small and I'm going to drop it into this area. And that will just be a nice way for me to talk about why the data for August is so low. So with that image still selected, I'm going to choose fade in again from my animations panel on the right. There we go, we get a preview of that. Then I'm going to choose fade out. And last of all, I'm going to choose zoom out to page. Fantastic. Now what that means is, as you'll see, when I hit the present button here, we actually go from Europe, we can click to go into the specific countries. Here's our data. And then when I present the next stage of this, we zoom into August, the next click reveals the holiday image, and this is my chance to talk about holiday season and why the facts and figures for August are so low. Then I can get that image to disappear again, and with my final click, I zoom back out to all of my data. Now obviously I can add more images here, more zoom points, more data if I want to, but what I'm going to do is zoom in to specific points of the chart rather than leave the chart, the whole chart on screen for my audience to try and digest. Even the smartest minds will find it very, very difficult to digest all of that information at once whilst also listening to a presenter. 
So do yourself a favor. If you have lots of data to present, give your audience's eyes, ears, and brains the space that they need to digest that information, engage with it, and most importantly, remember it.